Good evening, everyone. Bonsoir. I'm Marilyn Miko, president of the St. Andrews Society. It was great to meet so many of you this afternoon when you were picking up haggis from my garage and all your assorted fare that you needed to celebrate this evening. I hope that you're enjoying it right now. I think that we may have started a new tradition with that song. It was beautiful. And I've been told that Celeste kept that performance a surprise from her mom. And I'm sure that there's a few tears and some beaming right now at the McNiven Tremblay household. Coming up next is a compilation of entries for the Burns Challenge for the Address to the Haggis. Our thanks to Peter Machelina for his skilled editing to bring this unique toast to fruition. There's an additional stanza at the end, and our thanks to Michael Harris, John Roger, and Bruce Bolton. The Bard's work will never be the same. Now, for those of you expecting the traditional address to the haggis, I'm not sure if you'll be shocked or pleasantly surprised. For those of you who have never heard the address before, I encourage you to come to the ball next year to hear the traditional address. But either way, we thank our participants for their courage and their creativity. Cameron Stevens will now pipe in your haggis before we hear the address. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Robert Wilkins. I'm a proud member of St. Andrew's Society of Montreal, and this evening, on the occasion of our first unball, I have the honor to recite for you the Address to the Haggis by Scotland's immortal bard, the great Robbie Bounds, looking over my shoulder. Fair for your honest sonsy face, great chieftain of the puddin' race. A boon yaki tack your place, pink trimer fair. Well are ye worthy of a grace, as lang as my arm. The groaning trencher there ye fill, your hurdies like a distant hill. Your pen would help to mend a mill in time of need, while through your pores the Jews distill the camber mead. His knife, see rustic labor die, and cut you up <laughs> with great strength. His knife, see rustic labor die, and cut you up with ready slight. His knife, see rustic labor die, and cut you up with ready slight. Trenching your gushing entrails bright on only ditch. And then over a glorious sight. Let's cut it again. Oh, 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 oh. Then horn for horn they stretch and strive. Deal tack the hindmost on they drive. Till either wheel swallowed kites belive are bent like drums. Then old guildman mass like to reeve be thank it hums. Is there the roar his French lagoon, or only all that would store a sou, or fricassee or mac and spew with perfect scum? Look down with sneering, scornful view, and sick a dinner. Fair deal, see him how he strash, as feckless as a weather drash, his spindle shack a get with flash, his knee in it, through bloody flutter, fuel to dash, oh how unfit. 
But mark the rustic haggis fed, the trembling earth resounds his tread. Clap in his wally neave a blade, he'll make it whistle. And legs and arms and heads will sned like taps of trissel. Ye powers, wha mak mankind your care, and dish them out their bill of fare. All Scotland wants naith skink and wear, that jops and luggies. But if ye wish her grateful prayer, gear her a haggis. Oh, hello there! Oh, I've got a wee poem for you, for this special occasion. Give me a minute. Aye, listen to this one. Our haggis ran on four wee stumpies, with the right two shorter than the other, and scampered clockwise round the royal mountain through parking lots void of heather. Tween bollards and joggers, dodging bikers and hikers, and are they spandex lovers, evading even our royal highlanders. But when it finally broke free cover, oh, didn't one fierce, persistent guilty catch and stuff the poor wee beastie, new, gusty, grumpy, He's guest of honour at our St Andrew's feast day. Oh, oh, there you are. There's one for you. Happy St Andrew's Day. All right. I'll see you next year when the COVID has receded. <laughs>